Hi, I'm Jackson from CompNow Audiovisual. I'm here today to show you the Logitech Tap, the Logitech Rally system, which consists of the microphone you can see here on the table, the speakers you see on either side of the screen, and the Logitech Rally camera up above the screen, as well as some other components that are a little hidden out of sight at the moment. And also talking about the Z-Touch and how you can integrate all these components together to give yourself a video conferencing meeting room, which can either be hosted with Zoom, with Microsoft Teams, or with Google Workspace. So as you can see behind me here, we have the Z-Touch, which is the centerpiece of this meeting room. And this is currently configured, like I mentioned, with the Logitech Rally system, which you can see with the speakers and camera, as well as the Logitech Tap here in front of me on the table and the microphone behind that. The meeting room is controlled from the Logitech Tap, and this is the same for both of Microsoft Teams and also Zoom and Google Workspace. The tap controller here also has the ability for you to connect your device with a HDMI cable. This is an ingest which will allow you to present content into a Microsoft Teams, a Zoom or a Google Workspace call by plugging your laptop into that cable. So next up I'm going to show you how to join a Microsoft Teams meeting from the Logitech tap controller utilising the system here behind me. So if we come in here to the screen, you can see that there's a meeting here that's pre-scheduled and is basically a one button join there, which allows me to join this meeting. The way I got this meeting to the room system and to the Logitech tap is by sending my calendar invite to the meeting room itself. The same way you would send it to another user, a colleague or something like that. You can send the invitation to the room and on the Logitech tap controller, you will see this one button join available when you come into the space at the time of your meeting. So now I'll join the Microsoft Teams meeting from the Logitech tap here in front of me. First step is I simply just press the join button, which you can see on screen here. Once I press that, the system behind me starts up, the camera boots up, and you can see that it's joined the call. Now I've already joined from my laptop as well on the same call as you can probably see down here. And you can see me obviously on screen there as well. In the scenario that you'd have other participants in the call, that would be on the screen as well tiled around depending on the layout that you choose, which you can actually pick from the Logitech tap itself. Other controls that you've got from the Logitech tap is the ability to turn on and off the camera in room. So this is turning off the rally camera. We can mute and unmute the microphones here from the tap as well, as well as we can adjust the volume of the room with this plus and minus button over here. The little hand allows you to put your hand up in the call, which would let the host of the call know that you have perhaps a question or something like that you'd like to answer. And you can see the little hand appearing next to my name, which is in this case, the LC Boardroom and Z-Touch up the top there. If you're in the middle of a call and you'd like to add someone into the call ad hoc, you can press on this Add Participants button in the top right hand corner here. And this will allow you to type someone's name in who's in your directory, like that for example. Or alter alternatively, I can invite external participants by typing in their full email address as well. To end a call, you simply press the red button in the bottom corner. So from the home screen of the Logitech tap here, you can see that I'm able to actually start an ad hoc meeting as well. If I press this new meeting button, I'm presented with a screen where I can type in someone's name here who's in my directory or an email address of someone who's outside of my directory to actually ad hoc call them like so. And this will automatically dial out to that person. So next up, I'm going to show how you can use the Logitech tap to bring the content from like a laptop into the call or into the room just on the screen locally as well. Right now, I've got the HDMI cable from the tap hooked up to my laptop via a little USB-C to HDMI adapter. Um, you can use any adapter you want to adapt this to suit your laptop or whatever device you're plugging in. Once plugged in, on the Logitech tap screen, as you can see here, there is a present button. And if I just press on this present button, instantly the content for my laptop is presented up on the screen behind me. And this is then able to be used both in a call or independently outside of a call, just in the room as I'm doing now. So this would be the perfect example of, we've got a local meeting happening in the room here where there's staff sitting around the table, but no external visitors, and you can just use it on screen as so. Likewise though, if you are in that Teams call with external guests uh, who are dialing in from elsewhere, this exact same process will get this content of my laptop into the Teams call for the far end guests to actually see the content as well. So some other facts about the Logitech Rally system that I haven't mentioned so far uh, about the camera itself. 
So the Logitech Rally camera has 14 times optical zoom and is a 4K camera with PTZ functionality, which essentially means pan, tilt, and zoom. So it is motorized and will move around on its own. The benefit of this is it is actually capable of tracking whoever's speaking in the room during a meeting and either focusing on that person whilst they're speaking or it can be set to just focus on the whole room and the whole group of people who are in the space at one time. The Logitech Rally system can be expanded to suit the size of room which you would like to install it inside of. So right now I've got the large style system which includes the two speakers, there's a microphone here and another microphone you can't quite see just out of shot over there. There's also the ability to expand this further with daily training additional microphones to do rooms up to a depth of approximately 10 to 12 meters. The microphone units as well can be expanded around if you have a quite a large U-shaped table, for example, and can also you know, cover the whole room for audio. In addition, these microphones can also be roof mounted, so you can actually mount them upside down in your ceiling if you want to have a clean look on your table and not have any microphones down in the way of laptops and paper and stuff like that. This has been a quick summary of the Logitech TAP, Logitech Rally system, used with a Z-Touch and a Microsoft Teams room. If you'd like any more information about this system or other systems that we can offer, please reach out to us at av.compnow.com.au. Thank you.